Okay, that makes it to where everything you do has a positive result no matter what. That's what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to give you three ways to double your sales production. And this is something that I've done over the years, year over year over year over year. And I could probably make a video of about 10 things to help you double your sales production. But I narrowed it down to what I think may be the top three or three that I really wanna share. Maybe I'll share the other ones in another video. But for now, I wanna concentrate on these three because I think these three will really help you. And as always, please like this video and comment below. It really helps me push this content out to people who really need to hear this. Also, every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Central, I've got the Zero to Diamond Talk Show with my co-host, Joe Rosen. We're always talking about different things, business, entrepreneur, you know, life, and we normally have a guest, but you can call into the show and ask us questions, and that is what I think brings the most value, and I really enjoy hearing from you guys on that show, so please tune in every Tuesday, 4 p.m. Central. So let's get into these three ways to double your sales production, okay? And to prove that I've doubled my sales production year over year over year over year, I'm gonna link a video that where I go through my actual earnings as a real estate agent, okay? So I'm gonna link that below so you guys can just take a look at how I've doubled my income over the years. So the first way, and I think this is really important, and something I really want you to take away in this video, but it's the balance of time that you spend on new clients that you've never talked to before and old clients, past clients, people that you have talked to before. Okay, so there's this, there's two different avenues here. Okay, there's new clients you've never talked to before and then there's past clients you have talked to, you have done business with before, so on and so forth. And I think that a lot of agents either go down one path or the other. They spend too much time going after new business, zero time trying to deepen the relationships, follow up the right way, do the things that they need to do to build that brand with the people that they've talked to because they talk to new uh, prospects. But then from that point on, you know, the prospect doesn't really hear from the agent anymore. And that's a big, big problem. So once we talk to them, they need to remember who we are from there on for the rest of their life. Okay, so I think that that's very important. On the past client side, a lot of people only focus on past clients. They don't go after new. I think because they're scared to talk to strangers, to talk to new people, you know, and they kind of get in a rut. They kind of get in a routine where they just feel comfortable talking to people they know and they're scared to actually get out of their shell a little bit and talk to people they don't know. So I think it's extremely important to understand that we have to do both if we want to exponentially grow. And that's what I want. I want you to double your sales production. Okay, so we wanna exponentially grow. How does this help you exponentially grow? Well, it's because your past clients are literally your sphere of influence. Okay, your friends and family, that's your sphere, but as you get into real estate and you start to become friends, like some of these people are your could be your best friends and stuff your clients end up being really close to you they're now considered part of your sphere okay so your sphere is growing and we have to we have to continue nurturing our sphere okay but at the same time we want our sphere to continue to grow how does it continue to grow by having new people come into the sphere that we've never talked to before so we have to have a continual supply of new people coming into our sphere while we're also nurturing the current sphere Okay, we're nurturing so we don't lose momentum with people who are already in our sphere. And we also want to pour in new people so our sphere will grow. That way we have best of both worlds and we're, we're really building a solid, very strong business based on relationships. I like to do this with my weekly emails, a big part of how I keep up with my sphere and how they continue to know who I am and what I have going on. I'm fixing to incorporate a mass texting platform that's gonna help me send the same same information via text, okay? That's gonna go even deeper with that. I like to try to call my sphere as much as I can. I can't get to all of them because I have thousands now, okay? But I try, I try to reach out. And definitely when they call me, I'm there. I am I am right there. When they, when they call, I'm answering the phone immediately, okay? Hey, how you doing? How's it going? You know, what can I do for you? 
right? And then I'm right on it. Whatever they need, I'm there. So we definitely want to have a system in place to build our brand with people that are already in our sphere, okay? And we definitely want to have a system in place to find new people to bring into our sphere. And all this, at somewhere in this system has to be some voice to voice in there somewhere. It can't just be, you found them online, you put their email in your database, they're getting this email, and bada bing, bada boom. That works, okay? But only about 10% of what it could work if you were also incorporating voice to voice into the relationship. When they hear your voice, Voice, then they know you're a real person and they know that you care they understand your you know your work ethic how you sound they, they get this feeling of comfortableness your job as a real estate agent as a salesperson okay regardless of what industry you're in is to make people feel comfortable with you this is why I also like the three by three, three hours of calls, three days a week, because this is your new money. This is where you're calling new people you never talked to before, trying to continue to grow that sphere. The second way that I've doubled my sales production over the years is literally the fact that I don't worry. Okay, I worry about absolutely zero. Okay, I'm not worried if a deal's gonna fall through or if a deal's gonna happen or if an inspection's gonna be bad or you know what my income's gonna be at the end of the year or am I gonna hit my quota or am I gonna get enough listings or I'm not worried about any of that stuff. Okay, what I'm more focused on are what my daily actions are. Okay, that's it. I just wanna put in the work. Okay, am I gonna put in the amount of hours and the amount of effort? Am I gonna get everything I got? Am I gonna super laser focus on what I'm doing? Am I gonna let, allow myself to be distracted by social medias and you know this and that and people in the office? Am I gonna allow myself to be distracted? Am I gonna stay focused? I'm gonna put all my energy for you know so many hours into what I'm trying to do here, which is help people buy and sell properties. I'm gonna link another video below. It's how to focus at work. Okay, I really like the message in this video and I think you're gonna like it too. But at the end of the day, 95% of the stuff that you worry about never happens. Okay, so think about it for a second. If you're worried about a deal falling through, all right, there's a 95% there's a chance that it's not gonna fall through, it's gonna go through fine. And now here you are worried about it, spending all your, your brain space all your mental capacity worrying about this deal that if it's gonna fall through and it never even fell through. So you wasted all that time. And this is where I'm talking about how we can double our sales production by not worrying because it opens up our mind and our, and our mental capacity to handle more. You can double what you can handle mentally if you don't worry about everything. And out of the 5% of things that you worry about that might could happen, you can deal with those when they happen. You don't have to worry about them until they happen and then, and then deal with them. You can just not worry about them and then when they happen, then deal with them. That way you haven't worried about anything. And now we're keeping our mind totally open and we can literally double the production because your success is predicated on how much you can mentally handle at once. Okay, business is unlimited forever. There's an unlimited amount of loyal clients for every single agent. You can't talk to every single property owner. As soon as you know all this, closings happen every day, everything that I preach, as soon as you know all this, now your success is only predicated on how much you can handle. Because there's more than you can handle. So how much can you handle? And if you open up your mind to less worry, you can handle more. And the third way that I've doubled my sales production over the years is by having dual purpose, right? For having dual purpose in everything that I do, there's more than one purpose for what I'm doing. Okay, for example, if I have a listing and I want to circle prospect the neighborhood, okay, around that listing, I'm gonna call the owners and I'm trying to spread the word about my listing and See if I can get to know this owner a little more and create another part of my sphere, C create another relationship with a property owner that can now be part of my sphere. Okay, whereas some agents, they'll look at that and say, well, they're gonna call all the owners to try to sell that listing, period. They're not trying to accomplish anything else out of that call session, they're just trying to sell that listing. If they get to the end of the list and they didn't sell the listing, they feel like they failed. Whereas, I may not have sold that listing, but I picked up three new clients for the future. I won, 
okay? Because I had more than one purpose. It's kind of like when you call for sale by owners. Most people call for sale by owners only trying to get the appointment, only trying to get the listing, only trying to figure out how to sell that, that for them to get that commission. Whereas I'm trying to help them for free and ask them where they want, where they're gonna move to. Okay, I'm looking at them like a buyer. Might I get the listing? Maybe. Might I represent them as a buyer? Maybe. I want to leave all those doors open. And so when you operate like this, everything is a win-win. You can't lose if you're, you're, you're doing an activity for one result, but then if that result falls through, you had a backup result, right? And then maybe even a third, a third result that you could have fell back on. Okay, that makes it to where everything you do has a positive result no matter what. You could, you could fail in what your primary result was trying to be, what your primary object, objective was trying to do, but you had these other objectives that kind of fell into place right behind that. So, you know, and, and I'll give you another example. You know, some buyers, I'll show property to them, we can't find what they want, but they know they want something in that particular building. You know, and we look and we look and we look and we get down, they're like, oh, we just really want that building. I say, well, I'll call all the owners in that building and I'll find you one. They're like, no, 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 don't do that just for us. And I have to explain to them, listen, even if you don't come through and buy, if I meet four owners and list and get a, get a new listing and three more uh, clients for next year, I'm okay with that. Right, so have dual purpose with every single action that you do. Okay guys, that's my three ways to double your sales production. I hope it really helped you tremendously. Um, please hit the like button, subscribe, comment. Um, don't miss the, the, the talk show every Tuesday, 4 p.m. Central. And if you're not part of my absolutely free real estate coaching program, then what in the world are you doing? There's a link in the description for that as well. So that's it for today. I thank you so much for watching this video. You guys don't know what you mean to me. I'll see you on the next one. Let's go.